Um, what your challenges are, what you have already done, and in a perfect world, what would you love to see, what would you love to learn or see happen today? Um, so I can handle her okay, but nothing like my other two birds. I only had her for two years. She's 12 years old. Okay. Um, I'd like to be able to handle her more easily. Okay. Um, and also for her to be able to interact better with other people because that's been a real problem. Every time I go away, there's been a few incidents where she's become very aggressive. Cool. Well, yeah, we can definitely help. And then as far as handling her better, I'd love to kind of know what what have you guys done formal training wise? Have you been to classes? Do you have any of our uh, any of our courses? Have you watched our YouTube? Kind of where, let me get a feel for where you're at with that. So no formal classes. I've been watching your YouTube stuff for a couple of years. Um, but with my other two birds, I think I was lucky because they're both hand raised and they're just super easy. She is hand raised too, but she was with one lady for 10 years. Okay. Um, so that's been a bit of a challenge to get her to bond with me. And my sister for my birthday got me your Hormonal Birds DVD. Oh, okay. So we've watched that and we've started doing some of this stuff and it seems to be helping. Okay. And you've never touch trained her? Like never done anything with the target? Have we you done started. anything? You did? Okay. We have started a little bit, but I think we're kind of stuck now. She kind of like, you'll get a you can get her to go back to her cage, but we shouldn't go in. Okay. She'll fly to the top if you're tapping on the stick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we've got her touching it gently. She's doing a spin, but we had a bit of trouble with the spin. Because we were doing it up above, and then she was doing that thing where they want you to mount them. So that seemed to actually be triggering her hormones. Like she seemed to think that if we were doing the spin up above, that meant we were ready to mate. I don't know. She huh. thought like the hand was going to... Pet her or something? Okay. Um, so we found and out. And was that with you training specifically or anybody both else? Of us. Both. Yeah. Okay. Both of us. So we found out if we do the spin, it gets a bit awkward with that training stand. You kind of have to put the stick underneath and get her to turn. Okay. Yeah. She'll still kind of pause when she's back to you. She'll just pause and like tilt a bit. <laughs> Not going. as much as if you have your hand up yeah. above. She just seems to wait for you to mount her if you have your hand up above. Cage, yeah. cage covers are something that uh, are, are really overlooked. What it does, especially if you have one bird that is hormonal, especially a Clectus in a smaller enclosure, mm -hmm. they're, and they breed all year round, and all you're doing by putting a cover on it is saying, hey, here's your nest box. Yeah. And then questioning why it's defending the nest box. So really setting up a sleeper room or sleeper cage where she can get that full 12 hours of sleep. Okay, I would be curious to see the difference between a few different treats. We've got a whole bunch up there that we can try some different ones. Yep. Our job as trainers is to basically try to find what that highest value treat reward is yep. and, and kind of the top two or three and work with those in a way that keeps her anticipating and wanting to do the training sessions and that gives you a little bit more sense of control mm -hmm. and it makes the whole scenario a little bit more predictable so that you can have somebody else do target training through the cage when you're away yeah. and the bird understands everything and is really anticipating that high value reward. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking where I want to start is just seeing what your basic interaction would look like and we can kind of clean up some of that and then if it needs to be adjusted based on what I see if she's around females versus males or even kids yeah. versus adults and kind of just get an overall sense because I'm it sounds like you've done a lot and I'm wondering if there's some holes in the training that we can clean up and fix mm -hmm. the environment that I I want you to control is to to read her body language yeah. and if she looks nervous about me or a chair or something it's your job she's telling you like hey I'm not comfortable with this get that out of my scenario so so that's something that you'll um, we'll just use this opportunity to enhance and she likes women she usually will just hang around when there's women around she'll just sit quite happily can you touch them oh hold on let me get the feet ready there's the uh -huh. first problem gentle good girl Should have worn a jumper that had a hole in it. Jenny. Gentle. Gentle. 
For those who are wondering what a jumper is, it's a sweatshirt. <laughs> Penny. So I'm trying to get her to move around, but that's probably not the best perch for it. No, not you can't places take those to go. Feeder bowls off the top. Yeah. It looks like they just unscrew. Penny, come. And also, I'm a bit confused about what words to use. Okay. Penny, come here. And I think we've been using inconsistent words as well when we're training her, so I probably need to fix that up. Gentle. Good girl. So I'll show you what I mean about when I try to get her to twirl. If I yeah, if I use the stick up high. Turn. There she goes. Turn. She might not even do it at all. Turn. That. that. Yeah. Interesting. And then she becomes fixated on that. Okay. So, I see she'll do it for a down low. Turn. Come on, turn. She actually does this quicker for him than what she does for me. It's, it's slow for me. Good girl. All the way. Come on. Turn. And this is sometimes the problem when she stays there and has her back to me, is that then she seems to think the same thing again. Good. Okay. Yeah. I'm noticing a couple things real quick. I'll just point out. Yep. Um, first of all, what you just did was perfect. A lot of people, they stop what they're doing for the conversation, but they're still in the bird's training bubble. It's yep. very confusing for the bird. You took a step out. So that's naturally something you did. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, so when you first took her out, you took the stick and you put it in her mouth okay. and then you rewarded that. Okay. The next thing you said, oh, I'm still trying to get her to move to touch the stick. Yep. Yet what's happening is she did the spin and then you put it in her mouth to, tip, to click. Okay. So there's a pattern that you are doing unconsciously yeah. of making it easier for her. Yeah. And so what I would do. It's almost like she's learned to wait. Yeah. For the stick to touch her okay. versus you wait for her to touch the stick. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. So we could almost start from the top and retrain the target. Yep. And just, that'll just clean it up. This side. So she's anticipating you putting it there almost. There we go. Oh, good girl. Cool. So now double that distance when okay. she's finished and ready. There's that anticipation, right? Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen that. Okay, and you still, you were still trying to like, come on, touch the damn stand up. <laughs> Probably, I think I've, ended up doing that just because I got impatient to be honest. Yeah, and yeah. that's okay. okay. So, so don't be afraid. One of the things that people do is they want their bird to succeed 100% of the time. That's so different than our culture in America. You show up to the game and get a trophy. It doesn't count. If you're a loser, you're a loser, right? <laughs> you got to earn the trophy. Yeah. So don't make your bird a loser. <laughs> Does that make sense to everybody? Oh my God. So make, make sure, like, feel free to let her work for it. So she actually gets to earn that trophy, you yeah. know? And if she fails, She's gonna realize that she has to try harder. Yeah. She's like the opposite for me because we've been trying to get her to wave and I can't touch her foot with the stick because she's just going for the stick. If I'm like anywhere near her. So you're trying to use a stick for the wave? Yeah, like just to like touch her foot. Well, yeah. I don't know oh. if I'm doing it properly. What I've been doing is lifting her foot and clicking when she lets me lift it and hoping that she learns the wave that way, but that may not be the right person. That might be why you're getting some confusion. <laughs> this <Okay>. is, yeah. <laughs> I'm confused just listening. <laughs> yeah. She never independently lifts her foot for me. So I was trying to encourage her by lifting her foot and she let me do it. When she, she does she step up fairly easily for you? Onto my arm, yeah. Want me to do that? No, 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 it's okay. No. I was just asking. Yeah, we'll we'll get to the wave later, but we'll yeah. use we'll use either capturing to get the wave. Okay. Or like so in other words, she's sitting there in the same room, you're typing on the computer and you're keeping an eye on her and she reaches up to scratch, you click. Then you go over okay. and you retreat. That would be capturing. You're taking a picture with the clicker of the exact moment that you want to see more of. Yeah. Uh, another way that you can get the wave is by offering the bird to step up and the moment she lifts, click. And don't don't allow her to step up. But okay. the moment she starts to lift, click. Yeah. And give a treat. So we can, we can work on that later, but the target stick is strictly for touch this specific part of your body to this specific part of the item, so the stick. Like, so your beak's touching the end of the stick. Yeah. Um, we, with the budgie, we had it. We, we clicked a little too slow, and so we put touch the stick with your foot on cue. <laughs> so 
which is okay. It's still the bird would go over and then put her foot on the stick, and then that was the, that was what she would do to target. So kind of think of the stick is its only purpose is for your bird to touch her beak to the end of that stick. Okay. If you're trying to get her to move six inches mm -hmm. and she moves five and a half, don't don't do the last <laughs> half inch for her. Okay. Wait a minute or. 10 seconds, five seconds, mm -hmm. allow her to fail, and then step out of her training bubble and let her think about what she's done. <laughs> let her think about why she failed, yeah. and then you can try it again. So I'll go like three inches now? Or? Where do you think she is most likely to be successful? Say anything? Or should you she don't do? need to. I'm gonna move, because I think I'm a little bit of a... Good so you still even moved it that last half inch for her. So that's yeah. that's a big reason why you're getting a lack of full response. Okay, all right. Because she knows you'll finish it for her. And step back. Okay. Cool. So that is as important as the successes, if not more important. Okay. You still allow her to have opportunity to fail. Because now she's like, wait, usually you do the rest for me. Why didn't I get the food? Yeah. So now she's going to have to figure out how to work harder. What's her body? Oh. Good job. Something, something a lot of people aren't aware of or forget is when you train a new behavior, you're not only capturing that new behavior, but you're pairing it with the emotional state at that time. Mm -hmm. So if you're training when she's really hormonal, you're putting a hormonal touch the stick on cue. Which might be why she might be triggered by that training because she's so used to being trained in a hormonal state yeah. that it is actually putting her into that state. Yeah. So as you become more and more aware of those hormonal triggers, you want to be capturing the moment just before the hormones trigger the next phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you feel like you're losing your attention, feel free to just flash for the treats real quickly so she's like, oh yeah, we're looking for that. Okay. All right. And honestly, it just puts her into that, that state, doesn't it? Okay, step back. You see back. the sleepy <laughs> eye that she does? Yeah. Too late, honey. Almonds, pine nuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and walnuts. Oh, I don't know. I'm going for pine nuts. Oh! That's almonds. <laughs> She's just gonna go in a row. <laughs> I think that confirmed almonds. Yeah. Has she ever had pine nuts? Mix them together for me real quick. Now let's see. If it was convenient or if it was Legit. She looks like she's never tasted that before. She picked out the pine nut again. Uh, yeah, look I at think that. it was a pine nut. Yeah. She's like, what is this? Phenomenon. Ex <laughs> expensive <laughs> treat. So let's try almonds and pine nuts okay. moving forward. And I think we should train on the flat surface to try. Okay. <laughs> I think it's less likely to trigger hormones if it hasn't. You, if you, do you normally train on a flat surface at all? I haven't, or? but I can now that my kitchen bench is clear. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't, then it, <laughs> that might be one more thing to get us away from triggering hormones. Mm -hmm. All right, so I should let her choose which treat she wants. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Standing on your hand. Okay. Like, yep, yep, keep going. She's a bird. Right, She'll okay. hold on and stand. <laughs> it's like, dump my hand, like, just drop the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's stoked about this new game. She is. Yeah. Do you want to try more on the on the sur flat service? Yep. If I can get her to step off, yeah. sometimes that's an issue. Try to see okay. if you can target her off. Yeah. Sometimes I have to lure her off with the tree. There we go. There we go. Is that what I meant to yeah, do? Yeah, I give her a treat for that. So that was awesome. One of the bits that she's reading. Yeah, and here's your treats back. <laughs> Recycle her treat. She's not getting hormonal here, yeah, so. That's true. Yeah, she's doing less of the backup. 
So let's try to get her moved. And we can move all that other stuff too if you need. Cool, then just let her pick one. She's like, you are the treat. I am the treat. Very good. All right, I think we should end the session there for a minute. give her one because you did play. Oh, I did. And we'll just put her on a stand. Good girl. <laughs> Come right too. Mm-hmm. Well, so I... since we've got her attention here, go and drop her and <laughs> since we've got her attention here, you probably won't need to flash the treats as long. Anymore? Okay. Yeah. She's she's really willing to work. So uh, the only reason I would do that is if I'm kind of losing the bird for a second, or the bird doesn't realize we're going to do some training. Okay. Then I might start with a quick, like, hey, remember what you're working for? It's yeah. this. But you're seeing her responses a lot better here anyway. So, you going to hop up? So try putting her below the table so that she's stepping up onto okay. it. Yeah, just about there. Okay. Okay. Anyway. This is an issue sometimes that she doesn't want to get off. <laughs> so is it easier to get them off on your hand? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's try. And so with this, since that's become an issue, just give her one treat. Okay. Versus allow her to pick. Oops. Cool. I wasn't ready with that one. Was I? Good girl. I feel like the response is a lot better already. Yeah, me yeah. too. It is a lot better. Let's try all the way down here. Oh, <laughs> too far. Yeah, too. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah. You know, it's exciting to see when birds are succeeding here because you've got all sorts of background noise, you've got the train, you've got a lot of distractions. And yeah. Just that the, the fact that you've still got her focus is really good. Good. So I think the next test would be to see how she responds with other people doing the target. So let's try that. I'll take the stick and the clicker from you. See some of the treats. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, then you can go ahead and give it to her. Sorry. I was gonna flash her a treat because she was like wait a second she was frozen like a statue like, yeah <laughs> i like that the toe pointed <laughs> so we'll, we'll try this now going back to the right when she's finished if you want some as well in case you yeah just in case you need to show her yeah. i think now she probably gets it a little bit more but mm -hmm. there's a little curveball will you take one <laughs> you do like to do that huh <laughs> Still. She's like, I want to hold on to it for yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we really like to tell is if she, if the bird's receptive to men, women, kids, <laughs> jinx, <laughs> then it shows that they really understand it. And since she already had some of the training anyway, we had a a little advantage, but the fact that she's going all the way now and touching it versus waiting for that last minute movement, yeah. I think that's the first foundation to then being able to have other people get her where they want her to go yeah. versus her just getting partway there and stopping and expecting the stick to come to her. I think this will help you get her back into a cage or strangers get her back into a cage.